astronauts to your stations. The Octonauts and the Crab and Urchin. I'm on my way down to see who's at the door. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'll let you know after I answer it. Why don't I answer it? Mm, thanks, but I've got it. Last one to the door's a rotten fish head, Captain. You're on. me. Hmm. Huh? Dude, I'm down here. Huh? Oh, hello. What seems to be the trouble? Okay, look, there's some kind of creature back at the reef that's half crab, half sea urchin and totally loud. None of us sea snails can get any sleep. We're, like, totally stressing. We need someone big to come to the reef and ask them to quiet them down. I'm, I'm on it. it. I'm happy to take care of this, Quasi. You go back to sleep. That's kind of you, Captain, but you go back to sleep. No, you go back to sleep. Sleep? Pirates are made for nighttime adventures. Look, I'm sure you could handle it, but I'm not sure you should handle it. Aye, but if I could handle it, then I would handle it, which means I should handle it, All because... All right, we'll both go. Fine. We don't need to wake everybody up. Quasi, sound the octo alert, but just in the launch bay. Tweak to the launch bay. Tweak, this little snail needs our help. We need to head out to the reef. Aye, <sighs> aye, Cap. I'll drive. So will I. We'll see you at the reef. And I'll get there first. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Instead of just going fast, I picked the straightest route. Now, show us the way. Over there by the rock, see? I, I don't see a point. The point is that I'm always the one protecting you. Well, I'm always the one who finds all the food while well, you just sit there. I don't just sit here. I do stuff. I protect you. I get... I, I... Wow! This snail was right! It is half crab and half sea urchin. Hmm. Let's call Shellington and find out if he's ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> Uh, hello? Sorry to wake you, Shellington, but we need your help. Take a look at this. What is this strange creature? 
Oh, well, Captain, it's two separate creatures. It's a crab with a sea urchin stuck to its shell. But why are they stuck together like that? Uh, uh, because of symbiosis. Symbi what? Symbiosis. When two creatures live very close together because they need each other for different reasons. The urchin needs the crab for food, and the crab uh, needs the urchin for protection. Right. Thanks, Shellington. I put food on the table. What do you do? I eat it. I'll just ask the crab now? and the urchin to be quiet. What? Easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin. We're lost. We're lost. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Uh huh. You said go left. I said go right. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin, there's a problem. He's, He's the, the problem. problem. You're the problem. I'm not the problem. Yes, you are. You're the problem. Now you see what I mean. It's a problem. You can't even spell problem. You don't appreciate the fact that I carry you around and feed you all day. And you don't appreciate the fact that I keep you safe. Oi, keep it down where we are. Ah! Ah, run away. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I protect you from troublemakers like that. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your point. I got a lot of points. I'm an urchin. Hold on, please. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. Sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain. Too loud. You're too Maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? Ha, I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a uh, fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh, well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody messed with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, yeah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Oh, I don't have a plan. But I do know someone who's always good at coming up with one. Let's go and find Captain Barnacles. <laughs> now, raise your claws and say, Grr! Grr? Oh, I'm no good at this. It's all about attitude and confidence. And my friend Quasi could show you a thing or two about that. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Come on, let's go and find him. You're back. You're back. 
on my back. <laughs> I missed you, buddy. I really did. So, you're happy to be back together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize until now how much I need you. And I didn't realize how much I need you. Thanks, Thanks for your help, Octonox. See ya! Ah! Ah! Run away! Aye, those two are better off together than apart, Captain. That's symbiosis. Yeah! Race you back to the octopod? Hey, you're on.